All right, guys, check this out. So I'm standing at the base of uh, basically Kingfisher, uh, the first, the first of the spires. And I kept on hearing voices. I'm like, what the hell is that coming from? So I mean, I know I'm in a canyon and things echo like crazy in here. But I'm like, I don't remember. There was nobody else in the parking lot. There's nobody else out here. And remember how I said at the trailhead that these things are. Uh, people do climb these things. Uh, I don't know if they climb. It's just like certain ones you can climb or if it's kind of open season or whatever the hell you want to do. But uh, as I started, I kept on hearing the voices. I'm like, what? And if you can look, if you can see that right there. We've got two climbers uh, that are, looks like they're about midway up uh, one of the spires. And um, yeah, more, hey, more power to them. If that's, uh, if that's your jam, there you go. So this is, uh, this will definitely be an interesting place to come, to come uh, work your, to come work your skills. My skills are white are walking, and uh, so far I seem to be doing a pretty good job of that. Um, actually, I've got uh, a background of trail running, and I got to keep from <coughs> firing things up and running, because at least when I do that, uh, I pay more atten more attention to foot placement and basically the trail about 10 feet in front of me than I do to my surroundings. And sorry about, sorry about the finger. Um, <clears throat> and before I know it, I've gone quite a distance and haven't even, haven't even looked around to see what's around me. And that's one reason why I kind of stopped for a little while anyway of traveling to do trail races is because I'd spend the money, spend the time, I'd run the race, and in most cases I'd finish it successfully, but then I'd get back home and I'm like, huh, I don't really don't remember where the hell I was just running. I remember running, but I don't remember where I was running, and uh, a good example comes to mind is when I ran a 50-mile uh, a race in the Bryce Canyon area absolutely beautiful area but I was so intent on meeting cutoff times and uh, hitting aid stations and pace requirements and all that stuff that when I was done I'm like what what the hell so now I gotta go back to that area. I feel well, anyway I feel like I have to go back to that area uh, to kind of take in the whole touristy thing so uh, I've caught myself several times today putting the brakes on so I can admire stuff like this here and look at stuff like this right here as opposed to looking at where my feet are are hitting the ground. Again, I am at the base of a couple of the spires right now. Um, again, Kingfisher, Cottontail, I think Echo, and then definitely uh, Titan is the fourth one. So, uh, but anyway, so... Um, I got to remember that I, I don't care what kind of time I finish a hike at now um, because most times I don't, like I said, I don't stop the watch, uh, but I do take a lot of pictures. Um, rests, you know, what have you. And uh, the clock is still running. So, you know, it might be a one or two mile long trail and it took me 45 minutes okay just because now I'm doing a touristy thing so we're kind of coming into a little <coughs> I don't know I guess it's for lack of a better term a little valley uh, as we kind of weave in and out of of some of these towers so we are right now about 1.15 miles into this a little over two mile hike out and uh, that should give us, once we get uh, to the end of this trail, that'll give us a pretty good, that'll give us an opportunity to, to look over uh, all the towers. And uh, we probably timed it about right with the sun coming up and the way the sun is going to be, the rays are going to be bouncing off of uh, this red rock. Should make for some pretty incredible, pretty incredible scenes. So let's get there first without me falling down and busting my butt. And uh, we'll pick this up here again in a second.